Thank you, Alex. We are tracking breaking news this morning in the grapevine. The post fire that is burning near Gorman has now scorched more than 11,000 acres and forced 1,200 people to evacuate. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel live in Castaic, where CAL FIRE has set up their command post. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. Yeah, the command post was actually in Gorman yesterday. They had to move it as the fire grew. You can see that there are a number of crews here getting their briefings, starting uh, to get ready for what's going to be another long day. I've got Craig Little with the LA County Fire with me this morning. And, you know, we were in the Gorman area earlier this morning. In fact, we have some video we're going to show our viewers. It feels like this is still a very active fire and you've got a long way to go, right? That's right. Currently, we're at about 10,500 acres with 0% containment. And it sounds like really it's the terrain and then kind of the weather conditions that are really just going to be a challenge, right? The wind has been a major factor along with the dry fuels, along with the terrain. That's that's all the recipe for a very quickly moving flame. Tell me about the evacuations. It sounds like it was more kind of in the recreational areas, not necessarily residential neighborhoods. Yeah, we had about 1,200 evacuations from the Hungry Valley Park yesterday. Um, as far as any uh, evacuation centers, they haven't been established as of yet. And we're here in uh, Castaic where you guys have moved the command post. It looks like when I look around, I see trucks kind of from all over Southern California. It looks like you guys are being very aggressive. Yeah, we have a combined effort of Los Angeles County Fire Department, Ventura, Kern County, Angeles National Forest, and then uh, Cal Fire as well. And I know I saw the helicopters. I saw the fixed wing yesterday. Are they going to be able to fly today? I mean, with, with the wind, is it just going to kind of be touch and go? Well, we're expecting gusts as high as 60 miles per hour later on this evening. They can all fly through that. Now, the question is, when you have winds that high, as far as water dropping is concerned, that's probably not going to be effective. It's, it's going to atomize. But, and you and I were talking that the wind gusts are going to be even worse or the winds are going to be worse as the day goes on. So you're, I'm guessing you're hoping that you can make some progress in these early hours. We want to make as much headway as we can. That's why we have well in excess of 300 firefighting personnel working on this fire. Well, I wish you luck. I sure appreciate you giving the update. The one thing I, you and I were talking about is yesterday, the, it felt like the winds were drawing all the smoke to kind of this area in Castaic, Santa Clarita. It feels a little clearer here, but I'm guessing that means that the smoke is just bothering other people in, a, in another part. Yeah, this is a very dynamic situation. Winds will change and change direction, and you'll see smoke going one way at one point, and then an hour later it could be in another direction. So it's a very dynamic situation. All right. Well, thank you so much. As, we, as he was saying, still 0% containment, more than 11 11,000 acres burned, but there are a lot of personnel here doing what they can to get control of this. And of course, we'll be updating you throughout the day on our, on our newscast and also on kcalnews.com. Right now, we'll send it back to you. All right, Tina, thank you so much.